This short video is about negotiating a shared agenda. Welcome to Consultations for Health, helping you progress in your communication skills to optimise the care of your patients. Near the start of every consultation, it is important for you, the practitioner, and your patient to be clear and agree on what you're going to talk about. That is known as negotiating the shared agenda. It is an essential skill when practising person-centred care. Before negotiating a shared agenda, or before even starting a consultation, it's going to work much better if you're prepared. Where possible, review patient notes or information you have about the patient you're about to see to help you be aware of what issues, problems, challenges they may be facing and they may wish to discuss with you at this next consultation. In some consultations, you, the practitioner, will have a very clear agenda of what you would like to get out of the consultation. This will often be follow-up appointments or where you've booked someone into a particular clinic to review certain medications or certain conditions. However, the patient would not be fully aware of what the agenda or purpose of that consultation would be. In other situations, the patient is the one who is fully aware of what they would like to get out of the consultation. This is when patients have booked in to see you as a healthcare professional to seek your advice or a diagnosis. Often in the waiting room, patients would be constructing their story of what they'd like to tell you at the start of the consultation. Jeremy Socky, Doctor's Room 4, please. That was an example of a patient rehearsing their story before going into an appointment that they have booked, as opposed to when a practitioner has requested to see a patient, which may be slightly different. In both these situations, it is therefore essential that the consultation allows both parties to explain what they would like to discuss, and therefore you can agree what you're going to talk about. This will help maximise the time you have available during your consultation. Before negotiating a shared agenda, you will still need to initiate or start the consultation and meet and greet your patient. You can watch our meeting and greeting video for further tips on how to do this. So let's have a think about what we need to do to negotiate a shared agenda. In the situation where a patient has booked into your clinic and you don't know what they'd like to talk about, you will need to start your conversation with a good open question that allows the patient to tell you their story. Some examples are, how can I help you today? What would you like to discuss? What seems to be the problem? Once you've asked your open question, it's really important you listen attentively to their opening statements. These usually won't be too long and will be the things that they have thought about in the waiting room that they wanted to tell you. It's really important that you don't interrupt or direct their responses. This often takes just a minute. A minute is not a very long time, but it's essential that you don't interrupt the patient because that can be fundamental to you not having a good rapport with your patient near the start of the consultation. Once you've listened to the patient's opening statement, you can repeat back the key elements of what they've said and clarify if there's anything further they'd like to discuss. You can now move to agreeing your shared agenda. This will need to take into account the things that you as a practitioner have identified as important. This may be from things you've read in the notes before or other things that the patient has not thought about. It will also need to take into account the time you have available and agree the priority things to discuss at this consultation. You can always make a further appointment for follow-up meetings at a later date. In the situation where you've called a patient in to see you and you know what the agenda is, 
after you've done your initial meeting and greeting, it's important that you explain what you'd like to discuss in the consultation and then give the patient time to clarify or ask any questions before you agree what your shared agenda will be for that consultation. If early in a consultation you have shared your agenda, received your patient's agenda and therefore agreed what you're going to talk about, it will enable you to keep the consultation focused and therefore to time, making sure everybody gets what they need from the consultation you have together. Now let's watch a couple of examples of negotiating a shared agenda. The example you will now see shows a consultation which has been requested by the patient. Come in. Oh, hello. Hi there, take a seat. Hi. Hi there, see Gemma? Yes. Hi there, I'm uh, Dr Desborough. Um, how can I help you today? Well, I just come to you about two things really. Um, the first thing is my headaches. I've just had these headaches for about a month and a half now. They're just right across my head. They don't seem to go. They're all day. And I've been to the opticians to have my eyes tested and they said there's nothing wrong with my eyes. And I just really need something to sort them out. And um, also while I'm here, I just need um, my repeat prescriptions if that's okay. Okay. So we've got the headaches that are clearly bothering you. Yeah. Uh, and you've been trying to do, you check your eyes, which is a good thing, mm -hmm. but we still need to sort something out about yeah. the headaches. Okay. And you mentioned your repeat medication. Um, just looking at your records, I see we need to do a few tests before we can issue those. Okay. So what I'd like to do, if we can focus on your headaches today, yeah. and I'll book you in to see the nurse tomorrow, and then we can get your repeat medication issued. Okay, yeah, okay. that's fine. Is there anything else at all we need to address today? No, just those two. Just those two. Okay then. Tell me how the headache started. This next example shows a consultation that the practitioner has requested. Come in. Hello. Hiya. Hi, is it Courtney? Uh, yeah. Oh, hello, I'm Gemma, the pharmacist here. Um, now, I understand you've come to pre-admission clinic because you've got a planned knee operation in the next couple of weeks, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, well, what the idea of today is, is we're going to spend five to ten minutes just talking about the um, operation and what it involves, the medication that you'll be put on after the operation, and I just want to check with you what medication you're currently taking. Mm -hmm. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Sure. Do you have anything you'd like to talk about um, during the consultation? Um, the only thing I'm a bit worried about is um, whether I'll be able to do ballet afterwards. Okay, so we can talk about your recovery periods, what the rehab will involve, and um, what that will mean in terms of you doing ballet. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any other concerns or worries at all? No, it's just that really. Just that. Okay. So firstly, I just wanted to talk to you about your medication that you're currently taking at home. Would you be able to tell me those? After you've negotiated your shared agenda, it may be necessary to take patient consent for the activities that are going to follow. This may be written consent, it may be verbal consent and this will depend on the nature of the activity you're going to need to do and the practice or situation where you are working. Ultimately, negotiating a shared agenda is about recognising that each patient is an individual and exploring their ideas, concerns and expectations will enable you to agree a plan together. This video has explained ways you can negotiate a shared agenda. This is an essential skill for every single consultation. It will enable you to build rapport with your patients and maximise the time you have available with them. Thank you for watching Consultations for Health. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page and subscribe to these videos. Mm -hmm.